I guess I if I reset yeah I should have done that okay all right this is men are the season 5 tier list from his perspective to, I mean right now in Street Fighter 5 the reason why I'm doing this is because before we have offline that we all get to meet each other in tournaments and then there will be like an actual top player consensus of the actual tier list but now since of COVID we're not able to travel to Europe or you're Europe not able to travel to us the Dominican Republic is not able to travel to the West Coast or Asia or Asia vice versa so we don't really have any data so what's where we're stuck with is like our own perspective of our region and who we fight against in general and that's how we come up with our tier list of our region so that's why the, re the, the tier list of like Europe which is from problem X and a tier list of Asia coming from CN and my tier list are all three different fucking tier lists. So now I wanted to see as an experiment what your tier list is gonna look like. Right. Okay, so let's go. We're just gonna keep placing characters, you know, but like in general, but like I'm gonna ask you a few things about why this character is top tier in general. But yeah, okay, who do you think are like in the S tier category? Uh put Cammy up there right away. That was for sure. This is like everybody's number one. Or number one, <laughs> two or three. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Then um, after Kami, I would say put um, Rashid up there. That's for sure. That's everybody's. Okay. Put um, Seku up there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Put um, Balrog up there. That's for sure. Okay. Now you're look. Now you're like having an American tier list. Is looking like it. Okay. Good. Alright. <laughs> okay. And um I will say there's gotta be another top tier. Let me see. Let me see the list. Uh you know what? Karen. Yeah. Karen goes up there too. Karen, okay. That's fair. Right. So far we that got Yurian, um Yurian, Akuma, Colleen, Abigail, Minot, who's like is still like G, but it's up to you where you wanna place those guys. Yeah, so A tier. Mm. Now we go with A tier. I would say uh, um Akuma. Mm-hmm. I would say um Abigail. Uh-huh. I will say wait, I forgot S tier. Put Ryu up there. Ryu is S tier. Oh, for sure, bro. That you know, I play Dalsim. Ryu is by far the hardest Shoto for me to fight. <laughs> yeah, it, this season is very, very hard. It does so much damage. It's like everything. It's like, it's not even fair, I feel. Like, yeah. but yeah, okay. Akuma, <laughs> Abigail, and A tier. Yeah, put um Birdie up there. Mm hmm. Then put um Sakura up there. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sakura. Um, Seth. Uh huh. He's still there for sure. For sure. Guile. Mm hmm. Actually, I agree with this one. Okay. Um. Colleen. Yep. Hey, this might uh, be the most accurate tier list. Urian. Wow. Urian, for sure. And. Uh, no, no, no. Let me see. There's. They got um, Menat, Bison. Um, Honda, Chun Li, Falk, Ibuki, uh, and G. But, um, poison, poison, A tier. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now let's go with B tier. Okay. B tier, I would say G. Mhm. Mm um, Laura, Nakali. Uh huh. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. One second. I will say Bison. Uh huh. Um. Ed. Yeah. That Ed for sure. That that feels like he belongs there. And put put Ibuki there too. Yeah. Okay. Ibuki goes up there. Uh -huh. Chung Li. Uh huh. Okay. Let me see. Uh, uh... 
Let me see. And Honda. Put, put Honda then. Yeah, for sure. Actually, Honda should have his own tier because I feel like he's always a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, okay. Let me see. C tier. Put Dawson. Mm hmm. Dawson, Fan, Falk. Uh. Ken. Mm hmm. You know what? What's easier? Um. Everybody that is not Nash and Dan this city. Everybody. How about Minat and Zangief and Kage? I, I think they're. Mm, you know what? Yeah, Kage goes to. Wait. This season, Kage is B tier, actually. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. Sure. Because of the bucks. Um. Okay, everybody. But Minat. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think Minat is that good. Okay. Well, this is this is Mena RD's fucking tear list. You think you think I'm gonna argue with you about that? This is your name. <laughs> like, you want everybody here, even Mika and Jury, huh? Nah, put put Mika D tier. Mika sucks this season. Okay. So who's the worst character in the game? Nash, or Dan, or Armika? And Nash is the worst character. Nash Dude, sucks. You know what's so crazy about this? Every single tier list that was made. From Asia, Europe, USA, and now Dominican Republic, all has Nash, the worst character in the game. It's insane. It's actually crazy, like to see that. Like that's like the only thing in common. And also in common will be like, Cami and Rashid are always top tier. Yeah, it's just they're, they're broken and Nash is trash. Trash it, it, for real. It even rhymes. It's bars. Yeah, Nash is trash. for sure. Nash is trash. <laughs> so wait, um, so you would, would you put Cody at like the very bottom end of the C tier, or where would you think he should be? No, he will be like a top five C tier. Top five C tier, okay. Yeah, um, if we go if we go by order, it's all wrong. Like Sagat, Menad, they go in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Vega is there. Dawson is mm -hmm. there. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. Actually, this tier is actually not so bad. The only thing like that's changed here is that Birdie was usually on C tier because there's no other Birdie like you. So automatic, every region ranks him low, right? Until you watch him in a tournament, then they start thinking about their life decisions then they make their <laughs> own tier list and then add and put them in the top like that's usually the case it's the same you and Idom both got the same treatment like everybody puts Laura and Birdie all low tier until Japan fights you guys and then they lose then they start putting those two characters a little bit higher than usual so this has always been the case it's always been this the case so I'm glad to see this yeah but but yeah this is actually an amazing list um I uh, Ryu is top tier, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ryu is just, I feel he does too much damage to it. And sure. his neutral is good. Yeah, so let me see. So if you can rank the S tier, how would you rank them in order? Kami first. Uh, Rashid second. I would say... Seku third. Mm -hmm. Ryu fourth. Mm-hmm. And Karen fifth. Balrog will be the last. Balrog is more inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I can I totally support agree with that one. How about the A tier? If we can like rank this up in order, that would be good. Um Akuma first. Uh-huh. Then I will say Guile second, Yuri in third. Um I would say Abigail fourth, Sakura fifth. Uh-huh. And that's it that's it that makes sense but yeah dude um this is actually amazing information that you've shared to the community and we really appreciate your um your outlook and your perspective of the game you know um so i definitely respect this list um you're like i don't know if you heard about this but i've asked this question like a couple of maybe like last week i asked the people like if there was five people five players 
that's gonna defend us against the aliens but we have to fight them with street fighter 5 right who would be the five people the five players that you guys would pick oh mm. yeah so oh. so th you and punk were like anonymous like like super like um unanimous in the the five players it's like you really? punk, yeah so it's like you punk they have Ethan there they got um, Bonchan sometimes. They got a bunch of the random Daigos, uh, a lot of taquitos. <laughs> um, but yeah, in general. But yeah, but if you can make your five guys that you would defend the Earth versus the aliens, who would you? Who would be your five? Three, five, or five? Mm -hmm. Who would be your five players to defend us? Um, I will say um, Tokido, mm -hmm. Fujimura. Punk, Problem X, and myself. That's a good list. I feel safer there. I feel like we still get, you know, <laughs> I feel like the humanity is going to be saved with that list. But then Fujimura doesn't doesn't have any more characters. He doesn't play. He's having um, a character he, crisis right now. No, nah, he's playing Cammy. That's not a character crisis. Oh, that's that's true. cheap solutions. That's actually true. <laughs> and he's very good, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yo, man, I thank you for your time, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. No, thank you for, for having me here. It's yeah. an honor, man. Thank you a lot. Yo, by the way, let me ask you one more thing about DR, by the way. So, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, the Dominican, Repub Dominican Republic has been has proven that they're like the, uh, like a top region for Street Fighter V. Okay? Like, I don't think you have to say that anymore. It's known. You guys just produce nonstop amazing talent. And so... Who would you say are like the five best players there in Dominican Republic? Not counting yourself because we know, that's given. The okay, five guys. Right, right now or in general? Right now. Or like you could say like, right now or in general. I think What I think in general would be better. Yeah, in general. In general? Yeah. Okay, in general, I will say it's um Kava for sure. Um crossover for sure. Luimen. Mhm. Mm Hochi. Mm hmm And then it's a it's a toss up between um DRA and Lilo. I, I don't know the first oh. place. Okay, so if you don't mind um educating us with like Hochi, so what character does he play? He plays Akuma. Mmm. So this is a, one of the guys because Crossover used to play Akuma too, right? And then Yeah, Crossover plays a uh, top tier, you know, yeah. every season. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm really looking forward to. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing um more of your guys to travel. You know, but unfortunately, there's no traveling this season. You know, yeah. every time you guys travel, like you guys travel like a whole pack, and like so filled with energy. Like I was just I was, I did an interview with Dominican Republic um podcast um like a few weeks ago, and I was telling them that. When I was um, when I went to D uh, when I went to um, St. Martin's for VXG before oh. and it was Street Fighter Four, <laughs> and I was hanging out with the Dominican Republic guys, and all they did was talk shit to me. But like <laughs> we were like hanging out, we're drinking beer, we're playing like money match in the um, in the hotel room, whatever. And then when we go to the tournament, they were like jumping up and down, talking shit. And then, like, most people that was, like, from my region, they're like, dude, are they okay? Are they, like, having a fight? Are they going to fight you? Are they going to fight you? Like, no. They're just like that. They're just like me. It's all, it's the same. So, after that, it's like, I beat DRA. And then DRA beat me. Like, when he came back, he beat me. So, I sent him to losers, and then he beat me winners. So, after that, we just celebrated together. I can't, really? I ha yeah, we what? hang out. We drank. It would just play more Street Fighter. Like it was crazy. I had a great time with your with your crew. Like so, it was actually I had it was it was such a a good experience to to hang out with you guys in general. But yeah. Uh, so I've always been a fan of your region, um, especially those guys. Um, you know, you guys are the realest. Really, really fun to kick with. Sure, <laughs> sure. A lot of reasons. So when when I tried to defend you guys many times, it's like, what do you guys think about popping up or? Um, them like being too loud, you know how like Kaba has a tendency to be yelling in the stage, you know, whatever. I always tell them yeah. that 
different people, different regions, different culture, they just have different ways to actually um, celebrate. So these are the guys who's yeah. been playing for so many hours, so many minutes, right? All day, every day. And then they finally able to do what they've been working on in training mode or in casuals in the tournament. And then they succeed. I mean, let the motherfucker pop off. Let them celebrate. <laughs> like, they deserve that, okay? I mean, sure, some regions, they don't do that because they're more reserved. Some regions, they're just more quiet. Some regions are more loud. Everybody's just different, you know? And you can't expect every single, like, culture to be same, to be similar, you know? So I always say, I always say that because I've traveled to different regions and I've gotten booed, I've gotten cheered, like every region I go to and it's just some people are more loud some people are just more quiet some people are just more like they just do a head nod or like slow claps some people just go backflips fucking celebrate like with you so it's like every region is like so different so I mean yeah that's the, that's basically my take on that but yeah yeah mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. we, we have to respect them though you know the cultural differences but that also goes for us so we can do our thing, you know, more control and such. No. But still, like, don't people change. have to understand that what the we hell? have, um... Don't change. You know, very... <laughs> what the... What are you, you going to change for? Don't change. You're not doing anything wrong. I mean, you know, obviously, the line that you shouldn't cross, right? Obviously. Of course. But if you don't cross that line, there's no, you're not doing anything wrong. Why change? Mm, that's true. That's true. I don't think you guys are doing anything wrong. Like if, like seriously, if you're fighting Daigo on stage, and your all your boys are like celebrating and talking, and yelling to cheer for you to give you energy, I actually can't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> I actually can't find a, 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 like any amount of it being wrong. Like the only time it's gonna be wrong to be considered wrong if it, all your boys decides to go up the stage sit next to Daigo and start yelling at him while he's playing. That's the only reason. But aside from that, I think that's perfectly fine. This is why we got audience for. Audience is supposed to cheer to give energy to the players on the stage. I mean, if they're not allowed to cheer to however they wanted to cheer, I mean, what what what's the, what is it? What's the point of it? I mean, it might as well be make it all online. Like let's just watch it on stream if you can cheer live. So, that's just my logic behind all of these things. So, yeah, well, when people come here, they see that it's a very um cultural thing that we like. We're really loud when mm -hmm. we speak, when we get hype. But in general, you know, I think it's uh, mostly better when people play um on stage because off stage it can definitely affect someone that doesn't have a, their their headphones on or, or whatever. Yeah, 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 for sure. So yeah, there's a line that shouldn't be crossed, but still that we're not gonna stop enjoying the the way we enjoy the game. Absolutely. You know, like, really so, yeah. Absolutely. I, I thank you for for supporting us, and you you always been um uh, very humble and very good with us. When I first met you, you were extremely humble when nobody knew me, you know. So I really appreciate yeah. that. I mean, the people people just assume in the whatever they see on the cameras, they think that's just how I am. <laughs> they don't know me in real life like that. You know what I'm saying? No, but that's okay. But don't. that's okay. But that's okay. But that's part of the entertainment of the of the FTC. You know, you kind of like have to have that kind of like edge like most people you know like when i talked about you like last week and some of the stream guys but the, the, the people in the, that's viewing they're like yeah man are these very cocky i don't like punk too i don't even want to watch him they're like like that it's like what that's so weird to me but then i understand that that's from their perspective you know maybe like they just see you guys like not talk to them or whatever but everybody will just end up liking or hating somebody in in and to me, I just stopped caring about that. Yeah, you know, it's a, you're an inspiration to me because when I started getting a lot of haters, that I now have a lot. And, you know, at first, I was thinking about it a lot. Like, what did I do wrong? That's a lot of people, like, a lot of closed doors that I have. But actually, it's just part of the sport. And when I see yeah. players like you, like amazing people, when you meet them in person, you know, have this character and enjoy the sport in a different way, yeah. Then people just, you know, they start hating. They're like, oh, he's really cocky. He's really arrogant. And uh -huh. it's just the mindset that, that you have to have to win. 
You know, when you when you want evil, I was 11 years old, and I, I remember it like it was today, so... Damn, I've been playing for so long, I think. I think I've been playing yeah. for like 10 years, I think, 11, yeah, something like that. I've been playing for quite a minute. Yeah, you guys are just yeah. been a, a crazy, like... But yeah, but you guys are just awesome. So, but yeah, I appreciate your time, dude, and thanks for this, and yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon in the next tournament, if they ever sure. open the the airports to travel or you know but like sadly the cpt is online this season so we can't really do much now nah, but i hope to see you to see you soon and see yeah, all the players sure, for sure play together you know mm -hmm. yeah all right uh, man that, that have a night have a nice day and i hope everybody's okay over there dude yeah, yeah. you too man mm -hmm. take care and mm -hmm. thank you god yeah. bless you bro you too bye